It's me, it's Dawn Slime here in Walterville, Oregon of all places. I'm getting ready to play saxophone. If I can hold the camera steady. We're gonna follow social distancing rules and play. That's what she did. That's what she did. Happy Father's Day. If you're a father, my um, ex-girlfriend of 17 years passed away on Wednesday um, so I'm dealing with grieving and I've been separated from her since 2015. I actually moved out of my house. That's why I had to move out of my house in Cresswell. Um, she started to get verbally and physically aggressive and blame me for it, so I had to scooch out to be safe. And I also had some really bad stuff happen with PTSD. But um, anyway, I got back in the house and I've been going through things and it's been hard. And now I know that now I know that I don't have to save her things to give to her, but I do need to find out where her daughter and her daughter's daughter is so that I can get the things that are of value that I know that they want from her, um, from my house. So if you know where they're at, say, Brittany and Maddie, I'm doing just fine. I'm back in my house in Crestwell. <laughs>
Yeah. It's a magic and music, right? Yeah. That's right. Hey, Tim wants you to sing Stormy Monday. You want to yeah. sing Stormy Monday? I can do that. Okay. We'll close with Stormy Monday. Give us one more. What key do you do? It? Give us one more. Do it in A period. Sunday night at the Sunday Jam, for God's sake, we're almost back to normal on the right side of the Be safe, be good to each other, and be very generous.
All right, that's it for the Sunday Jam. Thanks for hanging out with us. Leave all your money with us. Or with them or whoever, but just leave some money. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Appreciate it. Unbelievable. Hey, buddy. I want you to go. Oh, my God. Oh, my Tim, you your hell of a drummer, buddy. I'm going to have a name like that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Rusty. Rusty. Well, yeah, I've been down. You got to drink a little bit. A little more whiskey.
it's me, it's the onslaught putting the way. I need a better, I need, I need a better vehicle to contain my instruments. But, I don't have access, I'm either poor or I don't have access to my money. Not sure which. Use a better car. Bangarento Svagirendio Sabagarendo Agirento Sabari Carendo Sabiandrando Ambadi Carendo Sabagarendo 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 Rondio, carantia, seba carantia, orantio, seba de querido, andrio, topazo de querido, andrio, ni carantio, seba de carantio, sara, ni carantio, sara, andrio, carata, alguien querido, este de querido, todo seba de andrio, seba de querido, andrio, seba de andrio, andrio, do carato, seba de querido, andrio, orantio, seba, ande carantio, sara. A grandiosa bacaria de garota, sa bacaria de garota, a neutra de osa banetia de garanto, a barricadosa, a guiria de sopa grandiosa bacaria de uga, a indicarosa bandia coron, a deus sopa de garoto, a indicaratosa bacaria, a indicaratosa bacaria de garaton, a indicaratosa bacaria de garaton, a indicaratosa bacaria de garaton, Arantiosa, ara kriya trantiyata, ane trisyo para ba uru tulso para tantiyo trata, antrata, arantiosa, aranta, ba karantiosa para kriyantro, para tosa, arantratiosa de karata, ande de karato untra sepe, ara kriya tosa, ante kriya tosa, ante karatosa, Ante karato. Ante karato sa ba de karato to ante ka. Ante karato sa ba de karato to ante ka. Ante karato sa ba de karato to ante ka. Ante karato sa ba de karato to ante ka. Ante karato sa ba de karato to ante ka. Ante karato sa ba de karato to ante ka. Trento pa pa trentio, di barrio te osa pa trentio, ante otro so di grandio, so pa di grandio, rado te osa pa pa de caroto, ante so pa di grandio, so pa pa che trento, pa grato te, ante te osa pa di trentio, pa ante che reto so pa andre te osa da, um, I guess the, my mastermind planning of my Amazon wish list. Selected carefully. I, I selected some items that I really wanted. Some items that I really didn't want so much. But I believed that perhaps the people that were taking the items from me before I got them, I never get them. So technically that's stealing, but let's just say that somebody told them to do it and they think that it's going to charity or Lord knows what the problem, what the excuse, whatever the fuck was made up. I don't really know. Yes, I say the F word sometimes. Um, I don't know how it happened, but as it became larger, and more packages started to come. And people got creative. They didn't just go with Amazon because sometimes you can find better shit elsewhere, believe it or not. And sometimes it, they see if, you know, if somebody can get into the groove of my brain the way that I think, um, they kind of play off of that and send even cooler things in the same genre 
of stuff. But I do need to tell you that sometimes a ring pop is just a ring pop. And it has nothing to do with the anal phase or the oral phase or the phallic phase. I mean, if we want to go back to Freud, because that's usually what happens when people start talking psychology, which is really odd because that guy was like a latent homosexual that fantasized about penis and did a lot of cocaine. So, um, I kind of laugh when people use that as their framework for psychology to go forward. But if we want to use that as our framework, we'll go ahead and say, um, some people are stuck in the anal phase, and they got one ton of ring pops mixed up with real ring pops. Somebody got the bright idea that maybe the best way to ship methamphetamine imbued in uh, high fructose syrup and red 40 dye, um, the ring pop, the magical jewel, the magical jewel, it's a ring pop, and within it, they put methamphetamine. I don't know how they did it, if they did it at the manufacturer, got in a couple good doses, or if they just copied and used their packaging, or what exactly happened. There was a giant mix-up, and the wrong candy went to the wrong place, and so there's somehow a bunch of kids eating on these methamphetamine ring pops, and uh, a bunch of drug addicts that aren't getting their fix. Now, if I did not put ring pops on my wish list, but I have talked about it before in the past because unfortunately I have, like, I'm an empath, which means I feel other people. Mentally. I feel them mentally. I know what's going on, and I think that some thoughts really shouldn't be shared, so how to mute your thoughts if you don't want them to be heard. Um, but some people were into this ring pop thing as a, a daily suppository. Um, you know, most suppositories, I guess, are used because the oral way can't be used. And so I don't know exactly what the thinking is, but I do know that I have a point coming because when I see an artificial man bone, you know, with a band to be affixed on the head in case you go bald and you miss your hair and you need a man bun, or if you're a woman and you just didn't read that it said man bun on it because you would assume that if it were a bun it would be for a woman. Either way, I'm not going to judge. I'm totally not here to talk about that part. What I'm going to say is that I so thought that man buns needed to move up the rankings on Amazon.com. And if that's all that I could do, to show that I existed when nobody fucking cared about me, then that's something. It's tangible. It's provable. You can point to the day I added it and you can see the shit start to flow. Now, I don't really think that qualifies me as having special powers. Um, maybe predictive at best, but precisely and distinctively I think it's a sign of leadership that so many followed me. Um, but I, I, would, I could think of several alternate ways of using man buns besides affixing them on the head. But I haven't really sat down to do it because none of them have come to me. And I imagine if numbers, many scores of man buns were to arrive on my doorstep, 
that I would start to come up with different ways to use them other than to just put them on my head. But I don't think that probably the way that they're being misused would ever occur to me. First of all, we have the problem with the anal insertion of the ring pop suppositories. Ring, plastic ring out. I don't think anybody's going to want to get engaged, but just in case, you got to have your ring handy. Um, I would never imagine that somebody's bone hole, or if you want to get technical and learn a new word today, cloacus is the scientific way of saying sphincter, anus, butthole, asshole, the round brown. Cloacus. You can say cloacus and it sounds scientific because it is. And nobody really stops you from it. You can even make a hashtag and have it be cloacus and be mistaken to be fixated on that particular body part if only to set yourself up for this particular moment. Again, not exactly special powers, but maybe really good, really excellent good planning skills, like way above and way um, I guess as my things open up, it's just hitting everybody all at once when they start to look at it. It's just like, fucking A. I've been a trend leader. So, um, anyway. How the fuck these people manage to get cloacuses, or I assume if you have more than one in a given room, or they would be cloacae. Um, how many cloacae are too wide for their load is a question that needs to be answered by somebody, but I'm not really going to go after the fun I could help somebody with the funding. I could write the grant, but I'm not going to work on that project. Um, but I'm, I'm certain there's some sort of people interested in what happened. A number of people have gotten too wide for the standard ring pop. I don't know if that means that they've gone with a larger ring pop that's not available in stores. It was just like a street ring pop for their uh, methical enjoyment. Or if they were using something else that just made it a little bit too large and so the ring pop just looked like Junior no matter what you did. Um, Follow the complaints to the company if you need to know who the culprits are, please. Again, I'm not going to do the footwork for you. Do a little bit of detective work on your own if you want to find out who these people are. They felt that man bones would be the perfect thing to hold the ring pop up the butt because they have a band on them and they're soft so they don't hurt when you sit down. Oh my god, she's giving away all our secrets! I guess they're absorbent, but it's a little bit of a sticky mess. Maybe a hot mess? A hot, sticky mess. Hot mess. Sometimes those hot and sticky messes can be really fun to clean up, but I think that whoever has to take care of this problem needs more than double time, probably like quadruple or fiple time. Definitely, definitely it's going to be more than double time. And I don't think there's enough scissors in the world. Um, you could buzz cut it, you could shave it close, you can do whatever you want, but once things marry that well, you might as well patent it as a new type of amalgamate for 
some sort of application that I haven't really put my mind to yet. But I imagine if it's good enough to hold a butt muff in place, it probably will... Maybe it could take a man in a construction hat hanging from an iron beam. I would start with that test first. Go ahead and uh, lift it as high as you'd like to start for the baseline. And we'll go from there. You wanted your creative ending. Uh, there it is. A patriantosara. A ciao!